Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a mashup of two haircuts. We're just going to have a little bit of fun today. We're going to be using a shorter underneath disconnected length and then we're going to be having the top length veiling over the top. I'm also going to be looking at potentially taking the, the top length shorter so that's disconnected but we're just going to have a little bit of fun today. Um, foundations is that it's going to be a short graduation. Uh, but we're going to be layering through the top. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get into the video. Enjoy. Good to have you here. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up for me, please. And don't forget to comment down below. I love reading all your comments of what you are doing and what you are thinking about what, what I'm doing. So, yeah, get them in and enjoy this haircut. So straight into the sectioning, it's from recession, recession to just below the crown. That middle section is from the temporal to a reference point between the occipital bone and just below the crown. We are then going to be looking at putting in a slither section all the way around the perimeter of that head shape, of that sectioning pattern. Reason for this is it will give us perfect symmetry if we get it bang on and the same length all the way around and that's something you should check or you could measure with your comb. But we just work all the way around the head to make sure we've got a little sliver section and the sliver section is half of a normal section and this basically is our guide for the rest of the haircut so you'll be able to see how i use this throughout this video guide so we're going to go straight down middle back now we're going to use that sliver section as our guide to cut from and then we're just going to put in a graduated shape through this section through here through the back of the head sections are moving sections and moving guides so the guide that I just put in just there it will be moving around the head so that will go to meet our new section. When we get to just behind the ear, I'll then go on to the other side and there's a reason for that and it's just basically for symmetry but also we move up into that middle section from the temporal. We drop that down, that gives us a stronger guide to then put in the side sections. repeat exactly the same on the right hand side. So now we're working with two clear guides. We're working with our previous section, but also the slither. So the sliver, because that is the same length all the way around, we know that our sections and our lengths are gonna be perfect. So there we go, we're gonna leave in front of the ears till a little bit later. We now move up into that section there and we put it in half. And what this, is, what this is going to be is we will drag it down to the slither. So what we're doing is basically building strength and weight through this section. This will give you, when you come to do a short grad or something similar to what I'm doing today, it will just build some strength in there and keep the shape nice and feminine. Okay, repeat 
pinch it on this side, just drag it down. This is just going to build up the weight. It also gives us a thicker sliver section that we can then use for the front two sections as a, as a stronger guide. And now if you look at it, we can go in vertically and we can just clean up those longer pieces and just match it on both sides. Now that's done, we're just going to drop the remainder of those sections down and we're going to drag them down again, create weight and bulk building up and also more of a spherical shape, which is why we're dragging it down. And this is what gives us the strength and holds the, the bob up once you come to the finished result. Now we're on to the top section. Combing it, detangling it, putting in a central section. We're going to put a slither either side of the central part in, and that's going to be our first guide. straight up to the ceiling but I'm doing a 45 degree forward section and again this is going to go up and it's going to be elevated and directed to above the centre section at a 45 degree angle. This is basically what we do on both sides. What this does is puts a slight layer in but it also puts some shape around the face. This is why we're doing the 45 degree angle. You will see how I'm cutting it when I spin over to the other side. And then when it comes to blow drying, we're just going to blow dry it off, wrap dry it, and then we will refine. So there's some tidying up of the length to do, and that's something I'll do freehand once it's dry. nice and easy, nice and quick. Just looking at that back section, pull that straight up to the ceiling, and then we're gonna cut straight across using the front as our guide. All this is doing is putting a really soft layer in, soft shape, just so it doesn't, just doesn't sit. Look, you can see there, it sits just nice and tapered around the edges. And then with that guide we put at the front, around about the nose, you can see that shape around the face. Now we're just going to tidy up the length and put in a nice strong line. Just using that jawline as my guide putting in that, that shape. Carry it all the way around, make sure we get it nice and balanced. And it's basically sitting at the back, it's sitting on the hairline. And it's sort of like a peek through bob sort of thing, disconnected, just a bit of fun really, but just showing you how we can incorporate two haircut techniques just to bring you something a little bit different. But we've taken all that weight away from underneath what it's giving you is a real head hugging bob and you can see that around the parietal ridge how there's a lot more sort of bulk or volume there that's because of that section that we put in where we were over directing it downwards which built up the weight and the bulk and that's made the hair look a little bit more voluminous and that is it 
that's the finished haircut. You'll see that I did colour it, I put some purple just around the perimeter just to give it a little bit something a bit different. But yeah, nice and simple haircut, disconnected bob, one length bob. You can see the disconnection there when I lift it up and, and shake it about. And then you'll see the, the purple finish result very soon. If you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see anything similar to this, disconnected in any way, um, let me know in the comments. And before you go, give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.